like a child on Christmas morning, mm. Nick Wright <laughs> waits mm. for the okay to go downstairs and open up all the presents. <laughs> Nick, yeah. what does this loss mean for the Bills? Uh, it means, and this will be a theme of today's show, if you can watch the full 90 minutes, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of this. They are who we thought they were. Oh, or in this case, who I and only I thought they were. And I was called a lot of things. Had a lot of arrows slung my way to end up being exactly, perfectly, 100% correct. The yeah. Buffalo Bills are regressing, as is their quarterback. And while Joe Burrow might be able to say with bass in his voice and ten toes down, as Brew was unable to do when it came to this game last week, that the, Bills, the Bengals' Super Bowl window is his entire career, the Bills' Super Bowl window under this regime, with this iteration, may have already closed. Oh, come oh. on. Okay, oh. well, here's a fun fact. That's Scott Kazmar had it. Every single coach-quarterback combo in NFL history that has ever won a Super Bowl won it, their first one, within five years of teaming up. Oh, coach. This was okay. Okay. year five. Huh. For the McDermott-Allen combo, also year five for the Lamar-Harbaugh combo, and that one appears to be trending towards divorce. But let's not talk about okay. them right now. Okay. The Buffalo Bills picked, of course, the very worst time to have their very worst game of the year. They had five drives all season where they were trailing by double digits until yesterday when they had seven in one game. Josh Allen could not help himself. Third and two, deep shot. Third and four, deep shot. Third and seven, deep shot. Instead of taking what the defense gave him, so maybe, just maybe, they could claw their way back into the game. It's almost like a team and a player that believed their own headlines. Now, it's hard to hold it against them because those elements are so rare for Buffalo, New York, for a team that looked like it could not play in them. However, this is a tough day for a team that has been to four Super Bowls, 1-0 in this regime that has done nothing other than once get blown out in an AFC championship game. Mm -hmm. So in honor of those four Super Bowl appearances, Let's hang what could be their four Super Bowl banners. Here we go. Drop the first banner, wow. if you would, please. They deserve it. Guys, <laughs> the 2022 preseason favorites. They can never take that from you, Buffalo. Drop the next banner, if you would, Here please. Let me see this one. Oh, oh it's got to it. come down. Hey, <laughs> you briefly, allegedly, temporarily had QB1 in the league. Now, at best, it's QB3 in his own conference, but that's neither here nor there. Now, the most important banner for him, because this one mattered a Whoa, lot when it happened. This <laughs> weapons coming out of there, man. Buffalo <laughs> Bills, you beat the Chiefs in October. <laughs> and now the last one. And the most impressive one, back-to-back -back oh. <laughs> AFC semifinals. That actually doesn't look bad. They're back, like, back to back years. They made the second round of the AFC side of the bracket. It's a hell of a year for a scrappy team that is now, at best, the bronze medalist in their conference with their bronze medalist quarterback in their conference. But, Brew, while this was great for me, this is your juggernaut, your MVP, well, let, my friend. Let, let me start by giving a, a meek and mild – who they? <laughs> and I no. Be, while the bylaws would allow me to claim the Bengals, Facts. I will not. Oh, I will not. Even though I'm allowed, I will not for this this day. But <laughs> I have been with the Bills, as you said, Nick. I like many smart, a lot of smart. How smart now? People still smart. A lot of smart football people pick the Bills and Josh Allen to be MVP. I was one of those smart football people. Didn't happen. So I will give the Bengals credit, Nick. They looked every bit as good as Joe Mixon said they were. They did, and he played well. Yeah. Went for over 100 yards, a hard-fought yeah. TD. Yeah, but we'll shout Bengals out to Mixon. Later. No, but no, because yeah. I, I want to shout them out first. I'm going to get to the Bills. Don't, oh, yeah, don't, don't, don't make the mistake. Now, let me get to the Bills. What to me is so disappointing is how they lost. Getting blown out? They got beat up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they got beat up. You have the biggest, strongest, most physical quarterback in the league. You got the great Matt Milano at the linebacker, right? You're at home. Yeah. You, you got a defense that, in terms of points allowed, was second in the league, I believe. And they came wilds. They, Cincinnati, went into Buffalo's mm, house. What'd they do? They raided the refrigerator. Oh, my goodness. They slept in their bed. They used their toothbrush, it's always the and toothbrush. then Nick, they took a bubble bath, <laughs> and they made the they made the bills run the water. I mean, it was that bad. Wow, 
they were there. We the can talk about Josh there. Allen. Josh wasn't all that good. No, he, right. He, he wasn't, was terrible. He wasn't, he wasn't, say it. Say no, it. I'm not going to say through. No. He was terrible. Am, he was not terrible. He wasn't. What, no. He scored 10 points. He wasn't great. He, he was no passing touchdown. Can a brother finish? Sorry. Go you ahead. got banners and Sorry, go a 10 minute monologue and all that. He wasn't special, and they needed him to be special. Was he uh, bad? He was Joe Burrow outplayed. I wouldn't yeah, yeah. say bad. He uh, was mediocre. He didn't do nothing. All right? He didn't do anything. But this game was lost two places for the Bills. In the trenches. Yeah. Nick, every time Cincinnati ran a play, it seemed like they were getting 10 to 12 yards. Dusty, show me the stat. Oh, here it They Dusty. ran for 172 yards. They aren't a strong rush team, at least during the year. They ran for 172 almost three times the amount but, of the Bills. Ooh, but I then they got – look at the pressure that was put on Josh Allen. I get that. Pressured 17 times. Oh, All right? Ru- 40% Ru- of his dropbacks. I thought a so, huge part of his brilliance was his running ability. It was tough in the snow. It wasn't for it's that. Tough oh, in it was the not snow. Burrow, Burrow, Burrow wasn't running. No, Burrow, was, Burrow was surgical. He did a great job. Give My point break. is Give they beat break. the Bills up on the line of scrimmage, both everywhere. sides of the ball. And the That's quarterback right. was bad. And then they got out coach. And I like oh Sean McDermott. He's been a, they couldn't solve the pressure, the different forms of pressure That's that true. the Bengals were throwing at them. They couldn't stop. Like I said, the run game, every time they touched the ball, they were getting 10 that's yards. That's why you're supposed to have the alien quarterback. They got quarterback. out coach. Hold, yes, all oh, that's true. The defense did not. And Allen didn't do anything. I'm not going to say he stinks. I'm just saying no, Allen but- didn't, did not have a good game. Was he horrible? Was he Dak yesterday? No. Or, no. Hey. What? What Dak but he, he wasn't good. He was every bit as bad as Dak. Oh, yesterday. stop it. He, he, had, he played a clean game huh? until the last, well, you know, Hail okay. Mary. He, he fumbled twice. Once did, he, did he lose any Once fumbles? he recovered and the other, one got no over, the other one got overturned very questionably. He lo- the, when I look at the box score, it says zero. Okay, that's, that, lost. listen, that's fine. I, I understand that. But it, to act like Dak played far worse than Josh Allen did is just, to me, ludicrous. But we can okay. set the Two Dak thing in aside. A, in a seven-point game. I he, he had – Come on, stay here, stay here. The, Bill, we'll the Bills scored one touchdown, Brew. They that, scored one touchdown. I'm not – did I say he was great? No, I said he – I didn't even say he was good. Okay. I'm just not going to sit here and say he was horrible no, but, like but, you want but me to. Here's, no, what I want is, Wilds, yeah. is – and we can show Josh Allen in the playoffs. I had to listen all week about how – or two weeks ago, how he's the best playoff quarterback ever. <laughs> well, he, and, and last week, how he's one of I, I the best. I don't know if I said that. And, oh, yeah, okay. oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so one now we have again – This is just the playoffs. Forget the win-loss part, but I put it on there so you could see it. You have the evidence that once again, the guy is unreliable. Four wins, four losses. Three great games, three horrific games, two mediocre games. What more can we see? This is at home, a 10-point playoff game. At home. Come on. You know what it reminded me of? Aaron Rodgers in round two last year. Man, Brett Favre. It, you can call him Brett Favre. It feels a lot more closer to a white Dante Culpepper or a modern-day Philip Rivers. The physical talents are unbelievable. Dante Cole, so he's going to be out of the league no, Well, soon? Dante got hurt. But Dante also led the league in touchdown passes Oh, he was great year. for him, didn't da- it? Yeah, yeah, and amazing talent, reckless with the football. Go ahead, Wilds. I'm sorry, but I mean. No, it's okay. I it mean, just, <laughs> just is what it is. I mean, if you – just the brief synopsis of that. The Bills ran a bubble bath for the Bengals, and they – Took a bubble they, bath they and beat them up. Yeah. I mean, we, well, Josh the wasn't good, was I admit, but they beat him up up front. Uh, meanwhile, in San Francisco, are you blaming Dak, Brew? Uh, well, look, obviously a lot of guys get blamed, but the lion's share has to go to Dak. The lion's share has to go to Dak. And this was a game in which only two touchdowns were scored. When you throw two picks in that get type of game, and one of them, what, at your own 21-yard line the or whatever it was? Inside the other 20. Right. The, the two picks led to six points. Again, in this type of game, 19-12, that deal. is huge. And so, look, the defense for Dallas was good. I mean, we know San Francisco's been the highest scoring team in the league since Brock Purdy's been starting. So, the defense was good. Trayvon Diggs dropped that interception, Hello. which is huge, right? Again, in a game like this, every play matters. It was a tie ball game, Nick, at the end of the third quarter when he dropped that. So, that was huge. But 
Dak, at the end of the day, I mean, the defense did its job. You're the highest scoring offense in the league, or, or one of them. And for the second straight year, you can only muster one touchdown against this team. And it's, it's really what I, what I said was going to happen Friday. San Francisco stopped the run, and then, especially when Pollard gets hurt. And then it was on Dak to deliver, and he is not that guy that's going to put you on your back on his back, wow. and deliver you. And I said about two, two and a half months ago when Cooper Rush was quarterbacking, I said this defense is so good that if Dak is who he's supposed to be, if he's the $40 million man he's supposed to be, they'll at least get Nick to the can, NFC can title. Can whisper game. a question? It didn't happen. Drew? I think they win if Cooper Rush plays. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> no. no. You don't? Do you? Goodness. You do? Oh, I think that game – Oh, Maybe. come on. What do you mean? So then you must think of no. quarterback controversies on the No, 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 no. Because no, I don't think Cooper – I'm just saying that very specific game. Really? Because I the, the, the picks were – The picks were bad. Horrifying. And I'll let you go ahead because this was your – No, because <clears throat> the picks were bad, and I'm trying to make an excuse for Dak. Make it. And I'm going to. Okay, yeah. Because I like Trayvon Diggs, but in a game that is so tight – and if you've been living off turnovers, yeah. there's two plays on the same drive from Trayvon. One, the Kittle catch, which was amazing. But this is just a straight whiff here. Oh, I'm yeah. not saying – don't – I'm not saying lay him out. I'm, I'm saying just tap the ball. And I was like, oh, and he just comes flying in here and just a miss. And then, like Bruce said, when that interception goes off your hands, hits you in the tummy, I think that's should be viewed – with the same amount of gravity, that's Dak's interceptions that he threw her. If you drop an interception that McCaffrey later scored right. on this, game, it's a game-changing play. And look, I'll show you the graphics. Yesterday, zero interception, one fumble recovery. That wasn't on the defense. That was on special teams. Previous seven games, they were living off yeah. that. So you got to force <clears throat> those. If you really want to say, like, oh, we're a team, we're playing complimentary football, I'm not buying that the offense didn't do enough and the defense stepped up. They didn't make any plays. No, okay, that's, that's all fair. true. But what's also true is this was the exact formula of how they lost playoff game last year. And, and the only a difference play. was Dak made more mistakes. Dak, I said Friday that I thought Dak could throw two first half picks. Check, check. Yeah. Uh, penalty at the worst possible time. Check. And you can say Kittle sold it, but he sold it well. And for the second straight year, you can't even get in Hail Mary range. So, Dak, right. the, the, the first pick gives the Niners points when they haven't scored any. The second pick is worse. It's not just that it, it was on second and two that it took three a minimum three points away from Dallas. There's a minute left in the half. Yeah. It gave them the Niners three points. So that is potentially nine-point difference right there. The second-to-last drive of the game – he tries to throw a pick to Dre Greenlaw, pick six, to, down seven right. to lose the game. Then he misses CD or Michael Gallup. Then the one thing you can't do there on that third and ten with 250 left, you have to either get a first down, get it out of bounds, or throw an incompletion. He scrambles. Now they lose 40 seconds. That's a disaster. So for Dak, it's the worst-case scenario. And then McCarthy oh. makes a fool of himself. Wilds, he made a fool of himself. Uh, the, well, go ahead. We can get to the McCarthy thing. You well, want to no. be kind and gentle. Of what? To Mike McCarthy? Yes, it sounds oh, like it. Hubs, do we have time to run the sound? Tell me yes or no. Okay, we're going to run the sound on if McCarthy's yeah. job is in jeopardy. Take a listen. Oh. If I was Jerry Jones, and I'm like, man, we just got beat by Brock Purdy. Okay, last pick of the draft. Do we get beat by Brock Purdy, or do we get beat by uh, Kyle Shanahan? I would say we got beat by Kyle Shanahan because he got a better they coach. And maybe this, maybe, maybe very good is not good enough for the Cowboys. No, what this tells me, because you're, look, he's won 12 games the last two years. He's been to the playoffs, all that. Yeah. But the goal is a Super Bowl. And what this tells me, what Jerry just said, is as much as he wants to win a Super Bowl, Nick, and we all know he, he said he cut off an arm or whatever he said to win a Super Bowl, right? Do anything to mm -hmm. win a Super Bowl. He, what he wants even more than that Power. is to win a Super Bowl his way. And Mike McCarthy doesn't mind him meddling. He doesn't mind him talking, running his mouth. He doesn't mind him getting involved. And that's why he's going to keep him in addition to the decent job he's done. But if he wants to really win a Super Bowl, you bring in somebody right now that can you get you Sean over the hump. Is what you do. But it, listen, you bring in someone that doesn't punt in fourth and five from the I 40. Mean, that's just the, the punting on fourth and five from the 40 is abysmal. I, I know you don't like when I blame coaches for stuff like this, but Dalton Schultz evidently not understanding 
the catch or clock rules. Oh, I put a little bit of fault. that on the coach. Oh, oh my God. The Patriots. You're grown, you're what, what, about the what about the two feet? Two feet in bounds. Okay, Everyone knows feet, that. But the going out of bounds right. backwards right. thing is bad. That's and true. then the final play of the game, once again, they, inst- they somehow found a way to do something more embarrassing than the quarterback sneak. It's I know we don't have time hubs. It's the worst. Can we show the worst play in NFL history? Can we please? Oh, oh you little, you little weasel! <laughs> you dirty dog! <laughs> you little. <laughs> <laughs> Break. I'm sorry. You know what? I had a yeah, sense of it. it. I had a sense. <laughs> Dirty dog. Coming up after the break, we're talking Patrick oh. Mahomes, or maybe not. Maybe we're just going to go Burroughs. You know what? It's Patrick Mahomes. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.